Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Nasser Sati, I'm a research associate in the uh, Technic Montreal. Today I will talk about uh, web application uh, uh, tracing. So, uh, when there is a problem in uh, your web application, uh, in a web application, so what will you do to uh, find the problem? Suppose users complain about the performance, they say that okay, sometimes you have a uh, let's say slow uh, response time or unexpected latency and ask you to solve the problem. So you will probably start by looking at the logs, maybe you will start by uh, Apache logs and you will look uh, uh, in uh, tons of uh, response request logs there to find the problem. Or you may go to MySQL uh, level and uh, look for a slow queries or you may use the PHP profiler to find the function that is a slow but even with that with the PHP profile or MySQL is slow life it can be difficult to get the root cause the main problem the main reason of the problem. So here uh, I propose a unified way using LT engine trace compass to uh, analyze uh, to analyze web application or LAMP stack in total. So LAMP is a uh, Linux Apache MySQL PHP and uh, we know that. Uh, so with LTG you will see other uh, tracers. Uh, it's already possible to trace the users' application. You can add your trace forms and compile your program with the library that tracer uh, provides to trace your application. But uh, in this case, in, in uh, LAMP stack uh, tracing, we wanted to change the code. So, uh, users, uh, uh, so we wanted to make users to able to trace their application without changing the code. So what we have done in this project is we instrumented the PHP core, Apache core, MySQL, and uh, the Linux uh, already, that uh, just support the Linux kernel. So we can get information at different layers and we can uh, analyze them, analyze all of them together. So for Apache, it's a uh, Apache module. Uh, it actually gives two uh, kind of information. Uh, the first set of information that we can get from this module is about uh, Apache requests. So for each request, you get uh, request start time, request handling, request uh, finishing time, uh, connection start, connection suspension, or other information. The other set of information is about the Apache internal. You can get uh, deep information about all the modules of Apache. So I will show an example. So here is the first part that shows the, the information about the Apache request, actually like the web request. So for each you have the events like uh, accept connection, request entry, request exit, close connection, and other things. For each uh, request you have some uh, content, the connection ID, client IP, uh, local IP, uh, local host name, uh, query string and other, other detailed information about the query. And the module uh, tracing uh, gives uh, us all information about the different execu different module execution of the Apache. So you can, Apache is a set of modules actually, when it receives a uh, request, it uh, passes to different modules. So here we can see the exact flow of the modules that Apache calls to serve the serve request. And also we have a graphical view using Trace Compass. Uh, you may know Trace Compass. Trace Compass is a uh, visualization tool uh, that works perfectly with CTF format and uh, can uh, get traces of LTNG, Perf, and other uh, traces, and uh, provides lots of uh, graphical uh, views to uh, show the different aspects of trace, uh, different analysis, and it's uh, it's possible to do the data-driven analysis. You can write your uh, analysis with the XML language that it supports, and you can do uh, almost everything with the trace data that you uh, import to Trace Compass. The second module is a PHP uh, extension. So firstly, I change the core of the PHP, then after that, in the second version, I just uh, wrote a, a lightweight PHP uh, extension. So. Uh, to have the tracing data, you just need to uh, compile the module. You don't need to change or touch the core of the PHP. So you just get the uh, get the uh, 
code from uh, my GitHub. You compile it and uh, enable that extension in the PHP configuration file. But what we can get from the PHP uh, LTTNG uh, PHP extension, uh, it actually adds uh, 13 trace points to PHP core. So you get information like uh, when PHP uh, gets a request, when handles that, about all functions. But for each function call, we have a function tree, function exit. Uh, even for each line execution, uh, uh, for the execution of each line of PHP code, you get a function, uh, you get a trace even before and after. Or for DB connections, for errors, exceptions, and uh, almost all aspects of a PHP request, you get uh, trace events and you can uh, get uh, information about your uh, request or how PHP handles your request. Also, I have a new function to PHP, so you can call it this uh, P function from your PHP code, it's called trace print. <coughs> And suppose that you want to trace only a block of your code, it's not a function or nothing. You just have a, some lines of code and you want to trace that. So you can add trace print before and after, then you can get information about that block, how long it takes to run, or what happens there, or how is the perf uh, counters uh, for that block. Or different, you know. Also, we have arguments for the events. You can get information like uh, uh, query string of the request, function name, line number, class name, method name, and uh, other information. So this is the module that uh, uses LTNG to trace. In the visualization part, we have added some uh, uh, views to trace compass. Uh, so we can draw a call stack of uh, PHP uh, request, PHP functions to, uh, that we use to serve the request. You can have flame graph, uh, request list, response time distribution, and uh, some other views that I will show here later. So the events that uh, we have in the PHP uh, module, it's request entry, request exit files when the request starts or exists. We have compile file entry and exit, so you know PHP is an interpreter uh, language, so every time it gets a request, it compiles that and forgets about the previous request, even uh, it calls the same uh, a script uh, multiple times. So we have function entry exit, execute entry, and uh, exit that it uses for line uh, execution of PHP code. We have PHP error entry, exit, exception, and uh, trace planes that I talked already about that. So here's a very simple example. The code is a hello world example that it uh, calls, uh, that opens another file called include PHP and then calls a function that comes from that uh, include PHP. So the include PHP is nothing, just uh, print the data of uh, that time. So if we, come, uh, if we run this, uh, if we enable, the, enable our LTTNG PHP extension, then we can uh, draw some uh, graphical view like this. You see the first line is about Apache uh, request, that is a test uh, tree PHP. The second line is a goes to the PHP level, and we have PHP, then you see the compiled file here, and uh, then we have execute line, which uh, actually is the uh, executing of the main function of uh, this file. Then we have again compiled file because it wants to open the include PHP, and then you see the execution of each uh, separate lines of the code. Uh, or we can have uh, Flame graph. Flame graph is actually kind of uh, pro software profile uh, profile and visualization. You can get uh, the, the frequent code path of uh, your uh, application. It like, aggregates data and uh, shows you the, some statistics of the execution of that uh, stack. So here it shows, for example, how much percent is compilation or get data test function. And also we have other views like bar chart, XY chart to show the, the response time, the request response time, the distribution, and uh, the, the main function, the, the source function by the, by the uh, execution time. The third part of the book is uh, MySQL instrumentation. So, here, uh, MySQL or MyDB has uh, already uh, traced uh, uh, probes, so it's around 60 trace points in 200 uh, different locations in uh, MySQL. So we hooked LTNG to that part and uh, to that hooks and uh, 
with that, uh, we could get information uh, from the MySQL uh, execution. So uh, the, 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 the trace events that we get uh, uh, are about the database, the connections of database that someone connects to database, or about query execution. You can get details of uh, queries. Like the, what is the query type select, update insert, or other queries? It's, you can get the query parsing time, or row level operation in the storage engine, or uh, uh, table logs and file sort and other information. Also, you can have uh, information about uh, cache misses, cache network, uh, I/O, and uh, other information. I have an example here. Or if you to install uh, the installation, you just need to get uh, <coughs> from my GitHub and. Uh, then uh, make it and uh, install it. So the three students are written here. So you will see my spill net write down, net write star, net, net read, and then uh, insert select down, insert star, select star, and other, uh, uh, or handle unlock about locking and or like read lock, write lock, draw, uh, redraw about. You can get information about row level, query level, connection level. Uh, so what this here is uh, the stack of the query from MySQL that is showing uh, the trace capacity. So the query is very simple, select something, select the stuff from a table. So you see the first line is about a database connection, that is connection start, then you have some net read, then we have command which is wrapper for query, then the query itself here, select the stuff from the table. And then we have parsing, then execution, and here we have some maybe log operations, read log, start in log n, network read right uh, So you can get, the, you can draw the whole stack of queries. So when users uh, complain about a query or something, then we can go here and see what's the reason. If it's because of a network problem or this like log or this file sort or uh, other info, other uh, parts of the query. And uh, as I said, we can get information about the query cache. Uh, so we have an example. So it's a, from a WordPress uh, table. So it selects something from the table where idea is something. When there's no cache, it takes uh, 400,000 uh, milliseconds. Then we enable uh, query cache. And we run the query again. So the first time after caching, there's, no, there's cache miss. But after running that, it caches into, it, it caches into memory. The second time, it's, it uh, reads the query from cache, and it's uh, 10 times uh, faster. It's actually 42,000 milliseconds instead of uh, 400. So here's the, the view. The first uh, picture actually shows the the case that there is cache miss, and my spell needs to read uh, to read, to do the query, uh, to, do, to go to all the steps of the query execution. But the second part, the second uh, figure is only for when there is a cache hit. So we only see select a star, and there is nothing uh, below that. There is nothing about like a log or reading from the records or network. Or so we can do this analysis with uh, the data that we get from the my skill. So I talked about three different modules for Apache, PHP, and MySQL. Uh, we can come, we can integrate all our data together and have some views for the whole stack. So here's a simple uh, lab stack analysis, which, which is a color stack view that shows uh, three uh, uh, lines, and each line is for one. So for example, uh, for, for different layers. The first line is the Apache, second line is PHP, and the, uh, the third line is MySQL. So you can, for each query, for each request, you can see easily how much time uh, is spent in uh, PHP code or in database layer or other parts. <coughs> this is a uh, stack of a Drupal uh, page, uh, Drupal uh, index page. So we see the call stack and. Uh, of the, P the first line is Apache, the other lines until one line, uh, until here it's a PHP. So you see all functions of the PHP uh, stack. And this line, this, uh, the last line is about MySQL query that uh, we 
it gets the information from my system directly. So it combines data from uh, different layers and uh, uh, show the full stack of the lab. Uh, before uh, showing the demo, uh, just about performance. So I tested that for uh, uh, Drupal, Drupal test Drupal website. Uh, so for uh, handling for uh, rendering the index uh, page, uh, the first page of the Drupal, it's, uh, uh, it needs to run around two eight. 28,000 lines of code. So the performance, there's no performance degradation actually. And it's uh, almost the same if there is no uh, uh, LTNG tracing in the middle. Here there's no camera, just user space tracing. What is the x-axis? Uh, response time and uh, the number of uh, requests. The x, x is uh, response time. Is a second. That that's sorry. That's why X is a X is a. Let me tell you. Um, I think it just shows the number of uh, requests. Yeah, but uh, different requests. Like number of parallel requests. No. Like number of parallel yeah, requests. Yeah, exactly. No, because if you see the AB, I use AB uh, benchmark to uh, create. Uh, the, the the workflow. Thank you. Here you see we have a dash C shows the concurrency. How many concurrent requests you want to ask? So it goes from five to hundred. So it's the number of concurrent actually. Um, but here, so the X is a uh, concurrent request, concurrent clients that ask uh, that send requests to the server, and uh, Y is uh, the response time. But I did. Uh, I wanted to get the worst case. Uh, I tried with the code, with the complex mathematic code that does lots of uh, uh, like calcul mathematic calculation. It's uh, about 65 million million lines of code. So uh, I tested it in three uh, cases. Then there is no tracing mean. Tracing and marks tracing. The difference between mean and marks is in the mark. In the mean, I excluded the the line uh, trace points, the, the tracing the events that is uh, generated for each line execution. With that, without that, uh, it's almost the same as uh, no tracing. But with that, actually, uh, by enabling everything, it's uh, around 45 or 50 percent slowdown. Degradation. So that's every line of Python? That that's PHP. 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 Every line. So PHP is really slow? Uh, it's not as slow, but it's uh, we have lots of lines of code. For 65 million, is around. But for each line, we need to generate two events. So that's the why we get uh, lots of But the, the, the normal case is this one. You see uh, less than 1% one, one or almost nothing uh, degradation. But what I mean is you get a factor of two over it by do, doing tracing for each and every line. Yeah. Whereas, so, so that means that the actual PHP interpreter is not that fast. Yeah. Because you're tracing a lot of stuff there. Yeah, I'll talk about that. It's a very good example of that. So uh, I go to demo. Uh, and will show that actually. Real quick question. On the yes. last graph, the max versus oh, the on the last graph, you had a max LTTMG versus a min LTTMG. Yes. Um, that was that enabling all three was the max, and what was yeah, enabling yeah, on the yeah, min? Explain that. In max, all events are enabled. In minimum LTTMG, everything is enabled. We just exclude the the line, the trace event for line is enabled. Because in okay. PHP level, for each line, we have to generate two events before and after. But if we disable that, it's uh, we call it a min LTTMG. So the demo uh, is about, uh, so uh, in a real web application, uh, the pattern of response times uh, uh, was like this. So you see some slowdowns every few seconds or minutes. So we want to see what happens there. What is the reason behind this slowdown? That can happen in every uh, web service. What's your axis again? Oh. Sorry? Uh, so can you show what are the axes? Uh, both are uh, both are tied. 
most of the time. Yeah. You can speak the response the time and X is uh, just uh, going through the time. Okay, okay. so uh, the, it's uh, it's microsecond. Yeah, it's microsecond. So I will show that. But what happens then? Before talking about this case, I uh, wanted to see what happens uh, when you run just the simple THP script. Because we know that this interpreter is not a compiled language, so it, 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 it compiles every time. And so it's like this parse, compile, execute, forget. Parse, compile, execute, forget. And it doesn't, uh, 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 it actually forget everything, even it calls uh, the same request uh, multiple times. So you, you here you see uh, we have, it's the file, parse, compile, and execute. So which one is not with compiling, parsing and compiling together or execute? We may say that compiling shouldn't be that big, but let's see here. So, uh, I used uh, my tool to analyze that. So here, uh, there is a simple PHP, uh, PHP file. If you see the code here, it just generates random. It opens three files, and in, in this file, it just prints something. There is nothing uh, in, in the file, just a PHP file to reason. I just wanted to open different files in that, in my script. So it opens three files and prints uh, before and after. Prints something before and after. So the, the color stack is like this. The first line is, uh, this is always about my PHP. I don't have my school, my school of Apache. There's no my school, and I don't have Apache information here. So here, as you see, the whole uh, uh, request takes around 600 uh, uh, microseconds. And the comp I have compile event. Compile event. So here it takes uh, 27, this one takes 13. So all together, it's about 10%. <coughs> The compilation time is about 10% of the whole request, which is uh, acceptable. But if you add kernel choice to that, you can get uh, something uh, interesting. So we add kernel trace. So here we have a call stack that shows kernel and user space, which is provided now in trace compass. You can, uh, if you have information from kernel and user space, you can draw easily this kind of view that shows kernel line and uh, user space stack. So you can compare it easily. So for example, I investigated this part. It's opening out one of the files, because my, our, my, my main PHP file opens uh, three other files. So this is for opening one of those files and running that. So just to open one file and one. So if I go deep in the kernel, I see that the file open. Is it starts from here and closes somewhere here. So what happens between file and close? So it opens the file, parse that, compile that, and optimize that. So if you consider all of this as compilation, you see that it's 90% of the request, which is very bad. So in this specific example, which is very uh, can be very common in all the PHP codes, we spend around 90% 90, 90 or something like that for just compilation, optimization, and parsing of the code. So what's the solution? PHP offers something called OP cache. It says that when you, open, when you read the request, when you open a file, compile that, save it in an upcode uh, um, cache, the next time you use that. So that's a little more less than a solution that PHP uh, offers, and it's, it's, it's enabled by default in PHP 7 and PHP 5, something mm -hmm. after that. So, uh, so it shows the process at the, the first run, uh, it compiles, compiles, optimizes, and cache, and second time use, uh, reads the script from the cache. So there's no uh, other magic behind that. So uh, I tested the same uh, script. So this time, it, it's uh, just 73 microseconds. So it's seven, eight times faster <coughs> when OP cache is enabled. Uh, I also tested for Drupal, for WordPress, and Mendeleev to see what, uh, what is the compilation time. So in Drupal, it can go, uh, it can go up to around 50%. Compilation time can be 50% of the request time. In WordPress, almost the same. We have some cases that is more than 50. And in the MediaWiki, is the 
uh, similar to uh, group bias, uh, can be up to can go up to 50 percent or 45 percent. Let's back to our example. What happens in uh, the places that we have a slow response time? So uh, I added the compile time for the whole the trace, but it actually so that the compilation time in this case is not. Uh, is not that big, so it cannot be the reason. Even uh, when OP cache uh, is in there. So I, I, I realized that uh, in some cases, when the cache is full or some other uh, situation, PHP needs to restart the cache. And it clears the, it clears the cache and it starts uh, from the beginning. Uh, when it restarts or reboots the cache, Every processes that handles requests, they have to reopen the file, compile, optimize, and write to the cache. But since the cache is shared memory between all processes, then uh, only one process can write to the, that shared memory at the same time. So all other processes have to wait. This is something that uh, happens uh, in this uh, example. So I have stacks for three uh, processes that handle requests at the same time. So they're using the critical flow of uh, trace compass view. I see that uh, processes uh, are waiting for each other to access it. So all of them actually they get the uh, get the request. They have to open file, they open file, compile that. But they want to write uh, in the shared memory before uh, execution. At that time, since there is competition to access to the shared memory, uh, they have to they they actually. Uh, Locks each other out, they wait for that and they make slow each other. So, this is actually the main reason behind uh, this problem. So, these are actually the, the slowdowns happen when PHP restarts the open cache. So the solution is oh, you can uh, increase the size of cache or, uh, uh, or uh, change the codes uh, when uh, there is. Uh, not that uh, request for the server. Well, I tested in another trace. So here we see is the control flow view of trace compass. You see the, the relation between different processes. These processes shouldn't uh, contact each other. But here you see there are lots of uh, dependency between the PHP requests. Here is the part that they want to write to uh, share memory and they have to stop each other. Uh, I will show the traces in the trace compass, but there are some new features in trace compass. So I want to talk about that. Uh, incubator in, uh, in trace compass, uh, there are some features that uh, is specific for for uh, some specific analysis, like virtual machine or web analysis. They might not be uh, in mainline uh, or is not mature enough, mature enough to go to mainline. So. Incubator is a place that people can contribute and can put there and uh, publish their patches there so uh, everyone else can get the patch before uh, uh, going to the mainline. So here, uh, the features that I talked about, like call stack that shows kernel and user space is uh, one of the uh, features in Incubator. You can uh, install that there in of Incubator. Uh, so there is the multi-level flame graph. And, uh, again, you can integrate with kernel and user space data together. And you can zoom and select a specific thread or a specific time duration to get flame graph but only at that time. So this is useful when you want to analyze only one request, one database, because one of the one page request. There is other view called VM overhead view, which shows uh, the virtual machine uh, analysis from uh, the traces from inside the virtual machine from the hypervisor level and from the host uh, kernel. So you can get overhead uh, of the hypervisor, what happens when you run the same uh, query, same risk, uh, request in the, inside the VM or inside the uh, physical uh, machine and you can compare them together. Uh, now it's possible to do uh, Critical path using pair events. So there's pair to CTF, uh, you can run it compared to pair to uh, CTF, and you can open that with the uh, trace compass. Then you can draw the same critical path that I showed in the demo. 
And also there is something, there's another view called counters analysis. This is a counters analysis that shows, uh, you can choose the perf, perf uh, counters uh, in the table here and you can get the, uh, the graph about uh, the, count, the number of that. And if you click the uh, sigma here, you can get the communicative uh, view of that. So I open trace compass to show uh, some traces. Here is the one that uh, processes uh, compared to access the shared uh, OP cache. So you see each uh, box here is a one uh, response. That's what we call a stack of all. If I zoom more, I will get uh, the whole, uh, the full uh, stack of that. So here you see, the uh, first line is Apache, second line is a PHP, there's a good line, main, com uh, compile file, and then execution. You can get execution for each uh, line. So you can see, for example, the first line takes more time than others. And also, uh, I have control flow for this part. I have a command that I find it easy. So you see here uh, the control flow of that. And this is the dependency between different uh, HTTP or Apache processes that shouldn't happen normally. But when there is competition to this contention to access the shared uh, OP cache, this can happen. I have uh, another example I'd like to show the Apache module, which is interesting. Uh, go to Apache to the views, uh, uh, Apache module analysis. So here, uh, different shows the stack of the different requests. For example, I put one here to uh, see one uh, Apache request. Here, just the, the Apache module that I said already that it, it can show uh, the Apache module uh, execution also. So here you see the first line is process connection, then you see HTTP core C, then this is, which is inside the, then you see handler module inside that it runs mode PHP 7.c. If you zoom more, we'll get more information, more uh, handler, more modules of the Apache. So you can see which module takes like more time and other. But here is mostly the 90% the or something like that. It spend, takes uh, in the PHP. Other modules are smaller, it's normal, it's not. And also, you have uh, some other information. That, uh, you see the log module uh, is called after processing the request. So here we have log transaction. Log transaction. It's called mod log config and C. Uh, and we have uh, protocol get yeah, other modules and which it calls. Uh, the last uh, one. The last uh, trace that I want to open is, uh, I talked about the cache, database cache, so I can show that here. When cache database, quit cache is enabled or is disabled when you have cache uh, hit or cache uh, miss. Uh, here I have a view by SQL call stack, flat so here, have, when there is cache hit, you see the, there is nothing under MySQL query, just call MySQL query and gets uh, the query results from the memory. But you may have, uh, let me show you the cache miss as well. So here, uh, the same query, but it reads, uh, there's no cache, so it has to go to detail, to parse the query, to execute the query, then other uh, events here, maybe to read uh, something from net or write to network, and maybe play with log and other things. And uh, one more, and, uh, two minutes. So, I would like to show uh, the whole uh, lab stack also that showed Apache, PHP, and MySQL the full uh, color stack. So it's here. Uh, uh, 
going to be for that. It's going to be like on the next one. On this time. Here, uh, uh, this view shows uh, the kernel and users at the same time. So, you have like the first line is uh, uh, just PHP stack. So, first line is the whole uh, PHP request, the second line is the execution of the main uh, function, and then we have kernel. So, we can see if someone complains about executing the slowness of the being slow of the display, we can easily see that uh, what happens in the kernel. So we see there is waiting, there are some waitings in execution of that function. This is something that profilers cannot show. Here uh, you can get the reason behind why the function is a slow. You can see that it waits for something, it can be sort of is black wait for something, maybe other processor as well. And also and I can more. Here's another one here. And the same uh, script, so it's almost the same view. And for the MySQL, uh, it's that <coughs> this one. It shows the, the full stack of the MySQL. It starts from MySQL connection. And you see NetRead, NetRead before and after, then MySQL command, then MySQL query. Uh, under that, then we have a query parts, query execution, and other uh, from here. And I can see, uh, I can get uh, some profiling data from flame graph, and I can zoom for specific requests, and I can get that here. So for each uh, query, I can see which part, which part take. Uh, takes more time than other parts. For example, here you see that there's one query is running under the, this uh, query, and, uh, but you can get uh, information about a uh, set of queries together. So, uh, last slide. Uh, so, uh, Thank you very much. I take this and to access the resources of all of our, all of the codes and modules and external files that are used for uh, generating this view are in my GitHub. GitHub that was like my email. Thank you. Thank you.